Good morning, class. My name is Miss Rodriguez, Senora Rodriguez. I currently work at High School East, and I teach all the way from Spanish one levels to heritage students, Spanish three, Spanish three, and everything in between. Um, I'm very glad to be here. I get to explain to you a little bit more about the program. Uh, and I would like to see you guys next year there. A little bit about the programs is our main goal is that you can actually learn a Spanish that is an academic Spanish. I know that the stronger areas of the students is a little bit of comprehension and speaking. You are very good at speaking it. Or well, most of you guys are, but not necessarily means that it's a correct academic Spanish. So one of the things that we're gonna do in the class is to improve it. You're gonna learn how important it is to be a bilingual, either for your workplace, for college, for life. Uh, it's super, super, super important to develop the skills that you have. We're gonna be uh, talking about how the Spanish culture has developed over time so that way you have an understanding of why your parents immigrated to this country and how things has developed um, economic wise, geographically and different area. We promote a lot of diversity, either among our members, non-members, we do it within the school. We also do a lot of community service outside the school uh, we offer translation for Back to School Nine, uh, Parent Teacher Conference, so that way you develop those bilingual skills. Uh, and the ultimate goal for, for, for us is that you can actually go to a higher educational opportunities and we promote excellence. And we need you guys to be excellent in what you're doing. Um, who belong to this program and i think that this is the big big question i am the teacher i receive the students and i'm going to tell you about it and um, the most obvious one are the students that just arrived to united states okay you don't belong to spanish program where you're going to learn how to say water juice house table backpack you already know how to say that first generation students and usually, you know, you are a first generation because your parents don't speak English or their English is very minimum and they handle more the Spanish at home. If your home speak mainly Spanish, your parents, you belong here. Second or third generation of students, um, that will be like the grandkids or the, or the people that first arrive. You are embedded in Spanish language, you know, probably more than what you think that you know. And you just need to lose the fear, start speaking and start writing it. Super important. We receive students with different proficiency or different abilities. You are very fluent in conversations. You are very weak in writing formally and speaking formally. And that's what you're gonna learn here. Some people think that they don't believe to the, they don't belong to the program because they cannot write it. I need you guys at least to try to write it, okay? Blend the sounds and you're gonna develop the skills to write. Um, if you come to the program and you don't wanna say a word in Spanish and you don't wanna write, then it's gonna be 10 times harder. You want to try, you need to want to try, you need to improve it, you need to make mistakes. So that way your level of proficiency increases and you get better and better on what, uh, what you're doing. And it's important to know that this is not an easier class than your, um, English speaker peers. This is a very rigorous class. You're gonna read, you're gonna have geography, you're gonna have poetry, we're gonna have video, we're gonna have music, we're gonna have dance, we're gonna have different ways of learning. It's 
as tough probably as a regular Spanish class or maybe a little bit more than your regular uh, Spanish one class. And it counts, okay? It counts. It's part of the curriculum. It's a graduation uh, requirement. Think, guys, the more, you, the more time you spend in the United States, the more you start losing your language, your mother language, and you don't want that to happen. You're going to be getting better, 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 better at English. And what's going to happen to your Spanish? And that's what this class come. So that way you can actually cultivate the language. You're going to be around other Spanish kids where you can actually practice and compare it with other classes. The program is two years. Okay? And what we do is we divide all the Spanish country. The first year we do half of it, starting with um, Los Hispanos in Estados Unidos, to Spain, Mexico, Guatemala, and the Caribbean. That's the first year. Second year, then we go to Central America and South America. Um, we stop in some of the countries for a longer period of time than other, depending of what is historically happening there. But this is the pattern that we form. One is the advantage that after you finish the two years, you actually go to Spanish four. You're skipping Spanish three. So at the end, you're going to graduate with five years of Spanish. So it's going to be heritage one, heritage two, Spanish four, Spanish five. And your credit, uh, your transcript, all your credits are going to reflect that. And it's an advantage when you go to college. Plus, it's also prepare you for the zero literacy test. That is a, a test that you take when you are a senior that actually certify you as bilingual. So you're going to be graduating with your high school diplomas, but, it's, but also a state certification as bilingual. And this is super, super great. Um, for those that are interested in any other language besides Spanish and you want to stay in contact with the Hispanic culture, you also have the Hispanic Heritage Club. The Spanish Heritage Clubs are mainly native speakers, but we have Philippines, we have English speakers, we have other nationalities that love the language, and that's how we capture our students our nationality, we share, uh, we do different activities. We mentor members of the Spanish club. The Spanish club, they do practically the same activities because they are English speakers, mainly English speakers that are interested in knowing the language and knowing about our culture. And if you're interested in knowing the Spanish culture, what better than to be with the Spanish kids. So my email is there, L. Rodriguez one You're also going to have a, a meet to join me. If you have any questions, I think that I am the right person to ask the question because in high school is I'm in charge of the program. I receive the students. I'll be very, very, very happy to meet you. So I hope that you click on the link for the meet. Um, meet me in person or at least via a Google Meet. I will be glad to answer all the questions that you have. Also, um, for whatever reason, if you don't do it, I'd be glad to receive you next school year when you go to IS. Look for me and I will receive you with open arms. So I hope that everybody have a good day and I see you soon. If not, I will see you in September. Bye.